Hi. <laughs> well, I thought I'd do another little video on, uh, on cucumbers and, uh, and I guess also on uh, how you can recycle things and use um, you know, different things in your veggie garden, in your garden, and around your place in, in, in general. Now, um, if you're just thinking of starting a, a, a veggie patch, then you know, things like tomatoes and that sort of stuff are nice and easy. But I find that cucumbers are also one of the easiest things in the world to grow. Um, uh, you you will get so many cucumbers you won't, you won't know what to do with them. So, um, uh, well, there's plenty of recipes that you can use them as well, not just uh, raw or cucumbers and salads or sandwiches and what have you. Either. But uh, this is one of my one of my healthy bunches. Actually, I haven't looked at it for a little while, so there's actually some uh, cucumbers in here that are a little bit overripe. But you'll see what I mean by those. There are many different varieties of cucumbers as, as, as well. Um, these are the prickly cucumbers, and they are a bit of a larger variety, especially if you let them if you let them grow. Um, I always um, you can you can plant them as seedlings uh, in punnets and then transplant them. But I find cucumbers are pretty easy. I push a little hole in the mulch, put some seed raising mix in there and uh, just plant the seeds and, and they, they pop up in no time. Then you just thin it down to a couple because you really will get a lot of cucumbers off just a few vines. Um, they grow pretty prolific on that side. Um, you can just grow them straight on the in, the in the veggie garden just as a running vine in the ground. They'll do that no problem at all. Um, but if you're uh, tight for space, um, then cucumbers are a great thing that you can grow up trellis on that side of it and, and what I've used here this is one of my trellises it's only a short one you can go easily twice as high um, as this with cucumbers um, but it's just the bottom of an old uh, of an old bed an old fold-out bed that I had that uh, my neighbors were actually going to throw on the dump um, and I just looked at the frame and thought man that's just that's a perfect trellis you know we can certainly reuse that again so I just uh, whacked a couple of star pickets in and tied it on with some wire and, uh, and yeah, it's a perfect one. If I want to move it, I can just lift the whole thing up out of the ground and put it to in another, in another spot if I want to. Um, now the cucumbers, just so you see, <laughs> these are huge, uh, these ones. One thing with cucumbers is that you should always cut them off the vine. Um, if you snap them and pull them off the vine, you can stress the vine and you might not get enough fruit off them. Now, now that is a huge cucumber and I wouldn't normally let them get that to, 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 to that size. I prefer to get them down, uh, let's chop this one off, more around this size here, particularly if I'm eating them in salads and what have you. Um, there's nothing wrong, these still have plenty of flavour, but uh, they, they can get a little bit soft and a bit mushy on that side of it. Um, but uh, as you see, one. I guess going yellow certainly certainly here in the warmer climates if you let them go for a little bit too long now this one should have been picked um, a few days ago because it started to go yellow more than likely it'll be fine on the inside you'll still be able to eat it okay and it hasn't even gone any too soft yet but I do try to pick them a little bit earlier hence around around this size um, one of the other things that you will see uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them on in here um, Here's a little example. I'm not sure if you'll see that on the camera, but it's a tiny little one, more like a gherkin. You can pick them early and then pickle them. Um, I do uh, quite a bit of pickling with my cucumbers these days. Um, I'll, I'll do a video on that um, soon because um, you know, if you like uh, pickled uh, cucumbers, just sliced up in jars, pickled in spices, oh, it's great, and it's a great way to store them. Like I grow these through the summer, and we get so many. Uh, we can then uh, we can pickle the cucumbers and keep them in the cupboard for, for the rest of the year. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's, it's a cold, um, cold, cold cucumber soup is uh, some people enjoy. Um, uh, I also make uh, relish with them as well. Um, sometimes straight cucumber, but you can do cu cucumber and tomato relish. Is, uh, Yeah, so I mean that's uh, what you see here behind me. There's only two vines coming out of the ground here, one and two. So uh, you know, and there's one, two, three, four, five. You know, that's uh, ten cucumbers in there, um, that, and I haven't picked them out for about a week. So prior to that, I've already got you know a handful of cucumbers off, and this thing will just keep going. Um, one thing with cucumbers, it is better to pick them more regularly. That will give you more. Um, 
uh, more fruit on that side of it. So the more you the, the, you pick, the more that it will grow on that side of it. Um, and you can seed save from them as well. Um, so um, I'll show you some of that as well another time. But they're they're pretty easy to grow. So all right, well that's it. Cucumbers. Cheers.